Hello and welcome to day 16 of Inktober Tangles 2023. I'm Anissa, a CZT from Croatia, and today we have a new tangle on the repertoire, of course, as every day. And today's tangle is tangle called Walnuts by Ildika Boyd. And again, I will probably not use um, a whole lot of space to draw it, although this one also takes space. It's a radial tangle, just like this. So it starts with the center and then it spreads radially. But this one is a little bit different. So similar type of tangle, similar approach to drawing it. It starts with a star shape. And now you know that I'm from Croatia. So as a kid, I lived in a communist uh, country, <laughs> Yugoslavia, and um, I knew how to draw this um, five, five, what do you say? Uh, five arms uh, star. And it's just very easy for me to draw this shape. I'm familiar with it, although we don't use it anymore. Now in Croatia as a democracy, of course, but still, it's not a problem for me. So I just added this. I have this piece of paper. So this is the way you start and you don't need to add anything, but I added these small triangles just as embellishments. So it's up to you to decide whether you want to add it or not. And now the tips of this star um, spokes, yeah, are connected to each other with these irregular shapes. And this is what I typically don't do when I draw. I don't typically leave space between my tangles. I place them in a way that they touch each other or, or hide behind each other. So I think I didn't judge the space well, but I'm just going to roll with it. After doing this, um, the idea or, or the name came from walnuts because this space kind of an irregular space that looks like a walnut, we will add an aura line, the kind of an aura line that you would see in a walnut. I hope that it reminds you of walnut shape so that you know why the name of the tangle was chosen. Although in Zen tangle, the rule, if there are rules, but it's a, the rule that also Zen Tangle <laughs> sometimes breaks with their tangles. Uh, but, you know, one of the rules, few rules, is that you don't use the word for the name of the tangles that suggest what it should look like. Um, but as I said, even in Zen Tangle, there are some tangles, like gorgeous, um, which do exactly that. So I'm, I'm not for any kind of um, firm rules. The rules are there just so you can break them, especially in art. But there it is. For those of you who are not familiar with the method, um, it's one of the few rules about Zen tangles. So this is actually what the tangle looks like and now it's you know I don't like my uh, drawings to be sectioned like this so I need to decide what I will do to fill this space and I will start by adding orbs to make this a little bit more uh, a little bit bulkier and I think that the orbs will fit nicely inside of these nooks and now you can just maybe observe <laughs> what I'm doing to see if you even like it or not. And then when I'm done with that, I will decide what to do with this kind of small space that, that's here. And I think that I might add some tangles that I have already used just to 
make it a little bit more interesting and fuller and then I can also ink in some of the spaces so I'm going back to dark busters and trying to draw these I don't know what's what's I think I drank too much coffee today so my lines are kind of shaky and you know it's okay to draw shaky lines they don't need to be perfectly straight I want to encourage all of you who think that your lines are not good enough because they are shaky to just keep drawing there are days when my lines are shaky I blame it on my coffee today <laughs> it's not my fault but you know it's not going to stop me for from from drawing uh, never and then I will ink in the space between the tangles just to create some more contrast so that it's not too busy I think I need some balance between these busy lines and some spaces dark spaces between the tangles and you know I might sometimes plan to do just one tangle after the other but it's not like there's a rule that after day 16 I can't come back to any of the tangles that I drew before so it's exactly what I'm doing and now the unfortunate thing is that my black background kind of melts into or with the this triangle that I drew yesterday and I need to find a way to make it work and I will but I will let my black ink dry before I do anything um, to, to fix or to change that okay I think I'm done with the tangling for today of course I will shade these tangles and start with shading where, wherever my tangles overlap or there are some spaces or sections of a certain tangle that go above another one so I'm adding some shade around this orb I think it will be a good thing to do that and I will also add some shade next to this star in the middle and I'm not saying that it's a perfect way to shade walnuts I wouldn't know because I haven't <laughs> tried this tangle before but I'm just following my gut feeling knowing that there are no mistakes and knowing that even if you end up having something uh, that may, you might not like at the moment, it's just a valuable lesson for, for some future tangling. So, and, and let me tell you, it, I always wanted to think like that and I know what Zen Tangle's uh, values are. But when I started, I didn't have the confidence to just uh, apply those thoughts into actions, not always. So, you know, when, when you just start, you are not confident in your skills. You're not relaxed enough to just know that, yeah, it will be OK, even if I don't like it now. Um, it's, it doesn't matter. You can always add something to your drawing layer things, uh, shade, highlight, do whatever you know you can to make the drawing look better even if you don't like even though you know in Zentangle it's not about ending up having fancy drawings but still we do want to admire our artwork once we are done it's one of the Zentangle steps in the Zentangle method 
so I, I want to enjoy my drawings too and I want to think that they are nice <laughs> and this is why when I don't like something it's not like I give up from whatever I'm drawing I just keep adding layers shades colors whatever needs to be added until I like what I see at least more and then even though I might not be crazy about what I see it's still a very valuable lesson and this is the way that I think about it and when I think about my drawings when I observe them after they are done I'm trying to think what can I learn from this um, trying not to be um, too critical but still having a dose of healthy dose of self-critique that can help me learn more appreciate my experiences whether they are like <laughs> good or bad each one of it each one of those experiences is good this is what i want to tell you so even if the result is not uh, the one that you were hoping for it's still a lesson learned and it's the great thing about the zen tangle method there are no mistakes the drawings are not supposed to look like something in particular and whatever you draw it's a lesson learned it's a time well spent so i'm adding this kind of a highlight and I took the Jelly Roll 05, so it's one that's thinner, has a thinner nib, just to add this highlight to the top of those um, triangles, because this one melted with the black background. I might be done, maybe just a few shiniest highlights to this new Dark Buster that I added here. Uh, to fill the space and yeah this looks much better than when this tangle was just floating there alone <laughs> above the uh, the other part of the design I, I do like it now and yeah let's see what tomorrow brings thank you bye